Believe it or not, this sneaker right here, top of my list in recent releases. So shout out to Shake again for sending over this pair. That's right, today we're unboxing the Adidas Forum Low Bad Bunny in the triple black colorway, AKA back to school. Vamanos, let's dive in. Benito Antonio Martinez Ocasio, who the world knows as Bad Bunny, celebrates his third colorway with Adidas on the Forum Buckle Low. This time it's a triple black pair with the nickname Back to School. This specific colorway takes us back to his younger days growing up in Puerto Rico and his school uniforms. You have additional tongue overlays you can swap out for a more aggressive look, uh, but I think I'll keep the stock look as it is for now. You also have an extra set of laces with 3M detailing, same as the stock pair, but the lace aglets feature yellow and Bad Bunny branding. The dust bag that accompanies the shoe is a nice elevated touch. I wish more collabs provided. Most would not associate an all black sneaker with self-expression, but that's exactly what it's meant to express by Bad Bunny. If you ever wore school uniforms, you know there's one major way to express yourself, and that's with the shoes on your feet. The sneaker features a mix of leather and suede similar to his first two colorways, both materials in black. The mix of material still provides a dynamic display on this muted sneaker. Across the top, you have a buckle and along the back, a bungee pull cord, which you can use to adjust the fit of the shoe. The extra padding on the heel makes for a comfortable fit when you kick your feet up and probably for skaters on a board all day. The buckle reveals the phrase, yo visto así, which translates, I dress like this, which we'll go over later. <laughs> we have the eye on the front tongue, the signature of Bad Bunny, and an Adidas branded tongue behind that. The insoles are elevated as well and feature the Adidas and Bad Bunny logo side by side. The outer sole is all black with Adidas branding, broken up in the forefoot by a circular standout Bad Bunny logo in yellow. If you're a student forced to adhere to a uniform dress code, even down to black shoes, what better way to stand out than with a pop of 3M? Benito, or Bad Bunny, is an international sensation whose Adidas Forum Low may not receive enough credit in a sea of collabs in 2021. It's certainly monumental for him as a Puerto Rican artist and in sneakers to sell out every collab instantly. Among all three colorways, the back to school colorway coordinates the best with almost any outfit, but the first cafe and Easter egg hold special places as well on people's sneaker wish list. There's a rumor we may receive an all white form buckle low, which I'd love to have. If that never drops, I may have to find a way to get my hands on the Easter egg pair. everybody it's your girl tj back with another video talks with tj aka tj2 swoosh t yeezy thank you again so much for tuning into another video and we are discussing the international sensation bad bunny now again his first name is benito but i think we all know him as bad bunny if you think hey i've never heard a bad bunny song if you've ever heard uh cardi b's i like it no you've heard a song with him on it he is on that song and you may underestimate just how big he is like everywhere else like here in the states yeah he's a big deal but pff, internationally he has risen to insane heights and i'm very proud for him uh now when it comes to sneakers we know it's hit or miss how will an artist fare within uh sneaker culture and the community will their shoes sell or not sell and we've seen plenty that don't do that right everybody doesn't have the hype or the appeal of let's say travis scott but that's not the case with bad bunny he's released three colorways now for the forum buckle low 
all of them have sold out. The first cafe, the Easter egg, and now the triple black back to school. And each one tells a story in relation to himself. Um, I love this story the most. It's very, very, uh, I think reminiscent again of childhood. And I like finding out a little bit more about an artist, what really helps shape them into who they are today. And this is about expression. And if you've ever worn school uniforms, I did not. I didn't have to wear school uniforms, which is a blessing, okay? But I still had to argue and write a paper on the stance of school uniforms if I was like for them, against them. And, you know, uh, did I see the pros and cons of, of like both sides? I, I did, I absolutely do. But you wanna express yourself as a kid, okay? And if you're in uniforms, the only way you can do that is by the shoes on your feet and maybe your hair. You can go the Will Smith approach and flip your jacket inside out, but you may not always have that option. And if they are limiting the colorway of your sneakers, that means, hey, if I'm forced to wear a triple black, at least let it be a triple black sneaker that just, you know, still has some flavor and some pizzazz to it. That's exactly what you get with this forum low. So he's taking us back to his childhood, um, you know, being raised in Puerto Rico in the school uniform Forums. that's exactly what this is based on and i love it i love the promo and the marketing and the commercial for this so shout out to adidas for that now a little special message on the shoe yo visto i see let's dive into that. okay so i'm gonna put like my few years of spanish to use okay i took it all in high school I can read it much better than I can still speak it, but yo visto así means I dress like this or I dress this way. And that uh, conjugates from the verb vestir, which is to dress, to clothe, to wear. And thankfully I still remember that whenever you have a verb and you go to conjugate the singular, like me, I, myself, uh, you will normally change that E to a I. So that's why you'll see it as yo visto versus yo vesto. It won't conjugate that way. It's yo visto. So that's just a little random Spanish lesson. And as you conjugate all the way down, you know, to, you know, you, you go to and it is it's a whole thing and I will put it up here, okay? When it comes to uh, myself, you and them and us, okay? But I love that touch um, of culture in there on the sneaker. So it is hidden under the buckle if you were curious, but yo visto I see. Probably weren't expecting that whatsoever, but hey, just a little Spanish lesson in there. Now, when it comes to uh, rumors, again, about a triple white pair, or at least a white forum low with Bad Bunny, uh, I hear those rumors are true, which means I am very, very excited to see what that looks like. I still want the Easter egg, okay? Listen, I am... I want that pair bad. I would rock the hell out of that pair. Now, the first cafe would be a little bit more difficult to get your hands on just because uh, resale is quite high on that pair. Um, Adidas Originals, hey, just a suggestion. Can we get like an olive colorway? I don't know how that fits into like his specific style if he, you know, feels any connection to olive green, but I do. And if you would need like, you know, a reference, you know, a test subject, I'm, I'm available. Just right here uh, <laughs> but i really do hope we see um a white color away from there i know they're teasing another model but i'm all in on the forum low so with that out of the way let's go ahead and break down sizing comfort and on foot and how i style this three different ways for sizing, I think it's safe for you to go true to size or even up a half size due to the padded tongue and the extra padding you'll find in the heel. If you already know your Adidas Forum Low size, just go with that as well. In terms of comfort, this actually feels a little better than the regular Adidas Forum Low I have in my collection. So this is something you could wear all day. Just keep in mind, it may depend on your individual preference for comfort. If you want an all black sneaker you can wear daily that doesn't come off as far too boring, I think this checks all the boxes simply because you have the mix of leather, suede, and 3M that still allows it to be dynamic while being monotone. This sneaker is extremely chunky and bulky, so I chose to keep everything dressed down and very casual. So for the first look, you have the Anti-Social Social Club t-shirt. Thank you, Best Laces Out, for supplying this. And then for the pants, as we move down, we have the Richie Lee Collection cargo pants. I believe this is the 1.0 in the gray or slate colorway. It is more of the shiny material versus that uh, matte material that was used for the second iteration that dropped more recently. 
And yes, I know some ask, people still wear Antisocial Social Club? Wear whatever you want. Again, the sneaker is about expression, just as your style should be about expression. Wear whatever you want, whether it's in style, out of style, it doesn't matter. I'm not concerned with who's still wearing the, the, the brand. All I know is it works for the outfit, and so I put it on. For the second look, there's nothing like breaking out your own shirt, right? So we have the actor age, not your shoe size shirt in the off white or off bread colorway. The Richie Lee flight jacket. This is uh, one of the limited items that released not too long ago. And then I have on Adidas shorts that are just basic and black and white. And then you have the black and white Adidas crew socks to add to the contrast of the outfit. Finally, rounding off with the third look, you have super distressed denim by American Eagle ladies. This is considered, I believe, like their Stretch X or Denim X stretch. Either way, they're very, very comfortable and have a lot of distressing and detailing on them, which I love. It really does give, I think, more of that deconstructed look. And then you have uh, a minimal flannel that I picked up recently, and I'll do a full video on this, but it fits oversized, so I'm actually wearing a small i believe and you have zippers on the side forearms that you can unzip as you see here and then there's a main zipper that goes down the front uh shout out to my boy james for my very first ever box logo <laughs> supreme t-shirt so you have the box logo tee to add a little bit of hype into this fit and then just again the flannel that is thrown on top and i love the detailing in this and we'll see this in another video again soon but you have a woman that's looking up at you with really sad eyes i think she's She's crying and then it says Los Angeles seriously harms your mental health and again I don't think a lot of us would argue that there are a lot of things that wreak havoc on our mental health today which is why it's very important to continue to express yourself. I apologize for the delay. It took me just a minute to get this out for you. The Sakai Blazer Low uh, preceded this. However, now that you guys see this uh, in hand, on foot, styled, please let me know, of course, which outfit was your favorite. And do you have any intention of maybe, you know, a whole, just, just reaching back to be able to get this pair? Or if you have this pair, how excited are you for it? Where does it rank in terms of all three colorways that have dropped for Adidas and Bat Bunny? And are you interested, like, I am in that brand new white colorway rumored to release sometime soon. If you like what you see, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. I truly appreciate it. As always, actor age, not your shoe size. Peace out.